Hello, 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 hello. Hello, hello. Blob kiss. Blob kiss. Blob kiss. Okay, this isn't my uh, real account. This is my other one. Are you here? What's up? Hello, hold up. Let me look at my chat. Hi, okay, look, okay. This right here, where are you at? This is Cthulhu, right here. This big behemoth is Cthulhu, okay? He's my guy, he's a pimp. He's an absolute pimp. Look at him. Huge, wavy, tentacly. It's different stuff, okay, right? And then, wait for it. Or yes, okay, look. Got the little angry toasts all over him. He's a pimp, okay? <laughs> I know he's cool. But they have all the different gods. This one, Greek. This one, I think, is Hi oh yeah, Hindu. I can tell you. Mayan. This one is Mayan. This, no, this one's Aztec. This one's Japanese, Egyptian, Egyptian, Chinese, Greek, 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 Roman? No, Celtic. Oof, that's an oof. Greek, Mayan, Slavic. That's stupid. Roman. Uh, what's it called? Don't. No. I got it. Come on. Watch him look at it. Voodoo. Yeah, same, I guess. Yeah, all different of them. Look at these. All of them. Yeah, this is what we were playing the other day. I know. I think there's... Hold up, let me do quick math. Four, four, eight, eight, fourteen pages. I can tell you, over a hundred thirty. I know. I mean, it's it's pretty good. I like it. It's fun. It's super simple, but fun. Would you rather play a boy or male or male or female character? 4.30? 4... 4.30? No. No, no. It's 1.30. No, not 4.30. 1.30. It's one... It's only 1.30. It's 1.31, I think. If my math is pretty right, which I'm sure it is. It's 131. No, that's cool. 131. What would you rather play? Male? Okay, well, we got tons of these. Boom. Here, I'll go through all of them for you. Okay. Boom. Greek, the god of war. Okay. This is Bakasura. He eats demons is his backstory, I guess. But he's a bad guy. He eats uh, souls of peoples. This guy's a dragon, pretty much. He can turn into a dragon. He had a lust for gold, and it trapped him. 
Yeah, he's the saint of war. Chinese. Jormungandr. The world serpent. He's so big, he wraps himself around the world and bites his tail. It's like a belt for the world. This one, Kukul Khan. He's, yeah. Not really the god of the winds, something like that, but he's something. This is the rule of the heavens. In Yoruba, what's it called? Yoruba tradition. There's three versions of him, I guess, that come into one. He rules the sun, day, and life, something like that. Ra, the Egyptian god, the sun god. He's the ruler of them all until later on in the war, then he just, I guess, gets overthrown, and then his grandson, Horus, becomes the ruler. Jormungandr, you like him? You don't have to make your choice yet, but I definitely like that option. That's a good choice. Jormungandr, good choice. Thanatos, he's, yeah, Greek. He's a god of death. He's good too, but he takes precision. Thor, I think you know him, the god of thunder, Norse mythology. Ymir, Greek, again, frost giants. He's the father of the frost giants. Yeah, but you like him? Good, good, good. <laughs> Which one's ooh? Oh, oh what? Yeah, Yormigand is the frost giant. Zeus, the god of thunder, Greek mythology. Killed his father, Kronos. True story. Kronos ate his siblings. His mom, or Zeus's mom, hid Zeus away and then killed his father eventually. And then Achilles. He's not really a god, he's kind of just a great champion from Greek mythology. His only weakness was his heel, or so they say. Agni, the god of fire in Hindu. He's alright. Amuzinkab, the god of bees. Interesting thing to be god of, but you know, you get what you get. Achbuch, the god of decay. Mayan, he's freaking cool. He's pretty good. On her. I don't think he's a god either, but he's like a warrior or a general. Anubis, I guess, he's not really the god of the dead, he's more like a, he's people that carry them through their afterlife into the next world, they either get their souls devoured, or they move on to the afterlife. Depends on how much gold and stuff you have to offer. Like the more bad you do, the more gold you have to pay in the afterlife. That's why Egyptians get buried with gold so they have enough to get put into the afterlife. Yeah, pretty interesting. Al Kuang, the dragon of the Eastern Seas, Chinese. He's um yeah, he's the dragon king from the seas, of course, you heard that, still. The god of bees, yeah, interesting. Apollo, also Greek, the god of music, and uh, he drags the sun across the sky. He's the god of arts, really. Let's see, Bacchus, god of wine. He gets really drunk. If you play him, you just get super drunk. That's that's his thing. Baron Samedi, the god of life and death in voodoo. He's pretty cool too. Kabraken, destroyer of mountains. He's in mine. He's also bad. I'm pretty sure he went to destroy tons of things, but they trapped him with a mountain on top of him. I don't know if you count this as a male or something like that, but he's a god of bats. You wouldn't like him. He sucks. Voodoo, yeah, voodoo. Okay. Cerberus, you know, he's what guards the underworld. The three-headed dog with a snake tail. Cernunnos, the horned god. 
he's a Celtic god. Uh, I think he decides the season, something like that. He's the passing of seasons. Shock, the god of rain. Yeah, rain. He's big and muscly. Chernobog, Lord of Darkness in Slavic customs. Yeah, he looks weird, I know. Chiron, also not a god. Yeah, he trains the um, Greek demigods. Cronus. Zeus' father is Cronus. This is Cronos. He's a different thing. This is the god, the keeper of time, yeah. Whole different thing, yeah. Learned that one. Pretty nuts. Then, my boy, Cthulhu. The great dreamer. He used to rule over the worlds, then, you know, he went into slumber communicates with telepathy to people on earth today or so they say there's people who there's cults who worship him true story they wait for him to wake up and destroy the world and they get to survive I guess ah, pretty nuts pretty awesome Kukulain or something like that Celtic he's not a god either he has a gift to become a giant rage monster. Cupid, yeah. This is the Roman god of love. Love, not love. Yeah. He's a baby, yeah. Hold up, I'll show you just because. He could be a scientist. It's freaking weird. Erlong Shen. He's also not a god. He's a warrior of some sorts. Fenrir, also not a god. He's supposed to kill the All Father Odin in Norse mythology. And when that happens, that's supposed to come about the end. Ragnarok. He's supposed to swallow Odin, and then Thor's supposed to fight Eormungandr, in which. Both of them die in the process. Ganesha, god of success. A useful god, unless you know you're playing a game where you're supposed to kill other gods. Interesting, yeah. Jib, god of earth. Egyptian. Pretty sure he might be the earth. I don't know. Oh, what? Question mark. What's L? Heichiman, Lord of the Eight Banners, also not a god, I don't think. Pretty sure he's just a warrior. Hades, the god of the underworld. Yeah, he drew the short straw and became ruler of the underworld. At first, I think he agreed, but he didn't quite understand what he was signing up for. And now he despises his brothers and all of them for putting him down there and giving him the worst role ever while well, they all get to sit up there because he can't leave if he left it would be over Hebo Chinese god of the yellow river pretty interesting guy Heimdall also not a god unless he's the god of Singfar I guess Hercules and Hercules. Yeah, Hercules would be a god, right? Yeah, yeah, no, Hercules is a god. I mean, he became a god, really. He's not a god yet, but he did become a god. He, well, I mean, he is a god, but he became a god. He went through a bunch of trials and everything. They bestowed godship on him in Greek mythology. And Roman, I don't know what they did with that. I don't know how his story went in Roman, but in Greek. I know he became a god. Horus, yes. This is the actual king of the gods in Egyptian times, as far as I know. 
he had to fight his brother Set, who's evil. But not really interesting in the way this game puts it, anyways. Ho Yi. I don't know if he's a god. I don't think so. Right, defends the earth. That's cool. Hunbats, yeah. This is the howling, the howl, howler monkey god. I don't know what the freak. He's a god of monkeys, I guess. That's cool. The, yeah, the god of portals and transitions. This guy, you gotta watch out for. Kepri, the scarab. The Dawnbringer. I think this is one of the versions of Raw. Yeah, he rolls the sun across the sky, which I think is a version of Ra. This isn't really a god. He's a King Arthur from Arthurian times. He ruled over Camelot. The great once and future king. Yeah, pulled the sword from the stone. Kumbakarna, sleeping giant. He sleeps. Kazenbo. King Kappa. He's like the turtle people from Mario. Loki, the god of mischief. Yeah, he's sneaky. Mercury, the messenger of the gods. He's really fast, super fast. Merlin, Arthur's sidekick. He is pretty freaking powerful, I guess. Nija, that right there is a dude. The third Lotus Prince. I don't know if he's the defender of China or something like that, but they're supposed to be um, the the ruler of the heavens. Kind of like a crystal down, I guess, to combat this great evil. There was good and evil, and they set the the good down to be this kid. He was supposed to have the crystal of good or something like that to make him the protector of China or something like that against the great evil. But instead, that jealous general or something like that, uh, no, a, a jealous right hand man of the Heavenly Father, whatever they call it, um, put the evil crystal on him. So he's using the evil powers. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, that's a dude. Yeah, that's a dude. Yeah. So he has a demon inside of him instead of the good crystal, which is kind of nuts. Odin, the Allfather. Yeah. He's like everything. He's the ruler of Asgard. Osiris, god of the afterlife. This is actually the god of the afterlife. He's who you talk to when you're dead or something like that. He's not really the... Anubis wouldn't be. It would be him. Poseidon, the god of the oceans. This guy's awesome. I like Poseidon. Rajan, master of thunder. Yeah. There's a lot of lightning people on here. Kind of crazy. Rama, seventh avatar of Vishnu. Vishnu has a lot of avatars. Whose weapons? Osiris? Oh yeah, yeah this is pretty cool. We're at a tasker. The sly messenger. Yeah, he's Norse. I think he's with a tree of life or something like that. Pretty cool guy. Ravana. Let's see, you're just mad. You know you like this game. The Demon King of Vlinka. He punches people. True story. This chick, I know. I know you said male, but... She has dog tentacles that she walks on. It's kind of wild. Then there's Set. Yes, the usurper. He tried to overthrow Horus in Egyptian times because... The way they say it in here, um, he saw a, a vision of the future that was going to end all the gods and all the people in Egypt. 
and he didn't want that to happen. He wanted to save his people and his family, so he set out accepting that he would be the bad guy, and he set out to make it to where their kingdom and people would survive by him being the bad guy and making things the way it needed to be. True sacrifice. God of the Nile, he's a crocodile. He guards the Nile River, which is a very important river in Egyptian myth. It's actually, I think, the most important river. Let's see. Sun Wukong, yep, the Monkey King. He's like the greatest warrior in China. But he's mischievous and he's a monkey. He's like Curious George, but with the powers of a god, so that didn't turn out well. Susano, that guy. God of the Summer Storm. What'd I tell you? A lot of lightning people. Robot Croc? No, he's not a robot. <laughs> no, he's not a robot. He just has a lot of metal armor. Keeper of the Wild, Sylvanus. This guy. This guy right there up top, not the tree, the guy. He uh, protects all the wildlife and nature in Roman mythologies. Mm. Oh no, I'm freaking just giving Brianna the rundown of all the characters. And yes, I am playing clone, I guess. I mean, I'm not really playing, but yeah. Thoth. He's the, he's the Egyptian god of knowledge. He knows everything. He knows everything at all. This is new. God of the Moon for Japanese. I couldn't tell you much about him. He just came. Tyr the Lawgiver. He's Norse. He's not a god. He's actually an executioner, I guess. He's the executioner for the uh, Norsemen. It wouldn't be Norsemen. It would be the Asgardians. No, stop. What do you mean? Uller. The glorious one. He's also not a god. He's a Norse hunter. He's a great hunter, though. Actually, he might be a god. No, he's not a god. He's just kind of is in a way. Fifth avatar, Vishnu. Vimana. He sucks. Vulcan. He's the smithy of the gods. He actually builds and crafts all their weapons and everything. He crafted Zeus's lightning bolt, he crafted Poseidon's trident, Hades' pitchfork, or would it be a pitchfork? I don't know. Then, Jibalunke, the hidden jaguar's son. I think he has the spirit of a jaguar. That might be. That might be it. Jingxin, the relentless. He is filled with a bunch of demons. Or he is a demon. Yeah, that's crazy. Zhang Kui. He is the demon call, yeah. He goes around fighting demons and capturing them and everything. But he charges a hefty price for it. I think that's it. It really what? Question mark. Paintbrush? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, that's just true. Zonkui, the paintbrush. The paintbrush is kind of like a helper of his. It, it, it has magical properties to it that helps him catch the demons. But it's kind of useless unless you know all the different things you have to use for the spells and all that. You have to paint specific symbols to do specific things. The craft man? Ooh, who's the craft man? I guess it'd be like arts and crafts. Who's the god of war? This guy. But he's bloodthirsty. He always wants war. He tries to start war everywhere he goes and everything he sees. Hammer. I mean, this guy, Vulcan? 
His Egyptian version is Hephaestus, but Roman Vulcan. He's the smithy of the gods. Play Big Doggo? You want me to play Big Doggo? I don't think I'll play Big Doggo. You gotta be silly. Him? You like which one which one would do you like the most that you would use if you played? Okay, fine, I'll play the big doggo. But tell me right now, which one would you play? Doggo? You'd play him if you played? You just use him? Okay, let me help you out a little bit before you make your final decision, okay? So, basically, there's, I guess, not four, hold up, look. So there's these different categories. Assassin is, like, someone who can't take many hits, but he, like, goes behind and does a ton of damage in, like, a short burst, but then he's kind of useless. Okay? Then we have Guardian, who are the tanks and can take tons of damage, but can't really deal out that much. But at the beginning, Guardians deal the most. They deal tons at the beginning, but late game, they deal like none. That's Guardians, but they take all the hits. Hunters, they're supposed to be the most damaging overall throughout the game. They're supposed to do the most damage overall. They're kind of, they can take a few hits, not many, more than Assassins, less than, you know, Warriors. Mages are actually, they have the biggest hits, you know, they're supposed, they do the most damage in hits, but they don't do it consistently enough. They more area of attacks, so they do the most if they're all grouped up. But they take very, very little amount of hits. I think they take the least kind of type of assassin. But then there's warriors who take a lot and deal where well, they take medium and deal medium you know they're kind of just evened out so what would you do would you like to do a lot of damage and stay back or just run up and smack them robo croc I think Robocroc's a guardian. I'm not sure though. He might be a warrior. Which makes it, oh nope, he's a guardian, yeah. He's not a robot croc either. But he has a lot of metal armor. So oh, but I have a... I have a pirate skin for him. He's a pirate. But he sucks. He really, really sucks. Robo Croc, I have a skin. Oh, so on this account, I have a pirate skin for him. On my other account that I actually play, I have Crikey Dial. You know, Crocodile Dundee? It's him, but as a crocodile. That's interesting. So, what would you play? Would you like to. Do a lot of damage and kind of stay back, or just run up at them and smack them and do pretty much nothing. But still do a lot at the same time, you know. What would you do? He who <laughs> You have to be more specific, you're a little behind in the stream. However you spell <laughs> you okay. 
Okay. You having a problem? A robo pirate croc? It's not a robot. It's a crocodile. Okay, it's a crocodile. So I hate playing as him. He sucks a lot. He's so bad. It hurts me. I have other skins though, so don't you worry about that. Don't you worry your pretty little face. I have no people on this account. Oh look. Okay. There's Jormin Gander, right? There's Giant Serpent, and there's World Kitty. And he actually purrs. Where everyone else had Jibs in his room 